What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today we are back inside the PTR, just cranking and testing like crazy. Today we are bringing you the Demon Hunters UE multi-shot build. Uh, they did buff this, uh, they changed it from 300% to 1700% uh, damage increase on your six set piece bonus, which your generators, multi-shot multi vengeance, um, and your uh, actual generators deal 1700% increased damage for each point of discipline that you have, okay? So this is a big change, it was 300% and and now it's 1700%. Now I will say right off the bat guys, I already missed season 27 and being able to strafe multi-shot. So it is really different playing this build uh, <laughs> um, without it, but uh, that's okay, we're gonna make do. So let's go over the build guys. So nothing's really changed too much overall from the traditional UE build. We're gonna have five of the, the full six piece sets of Unhallowed Essence, combining that with Captain Crimson, okay, for just cooldown. Um, reduction and resource cost reduction because we are going to be multi-shotting a lot okay so we paired that with the uh focus and restraint for more damage guys then we have wraps of clarity for defense survivability uh in our ring and then uh squirts necklace for uh double damage which is great into our weapons of course you can't play this build without dead man's legacy and then of course we have yang's recurve now you've noticed that it is it does look a little bit different outside of a primal legendary it has this little thing down there so if you guys don't know in season in the ptr what's going to be coming is the uh curiosity of Lor lorath now here the upgrade legendary item using the primordial ashes so basically you can take one item that's a legendary or uh ancient legendary and make it a primal um, you can only have one of these equipped, so that's why I bring it up, guys, so that way you don't get confused about the build. But you can only have one equipped item like this before. It's kind of like the um, seasonal theme from Season 27, where you can only have one Angelic Crucible on one item that you're equipped to. So, that is the gear, guys. Over to the cube, we got Dawn, so that way we can have permanent uptime. You need to have uh, 36%. I think it's 34 total to have permanent uptime on your Vengeance. Prize fall for resource cost reduction and then Ring of Royal Grandeur to pair out both the builds. Into our skills, we have Evasive Fire Focus just to give us the maximum hatred generator if we ever do go low. This should never go low with this build, guys. You should never have to really use that except to proc our Focus and Restraint. And then, of course, Multi-Shot Arsenal. This is going to be your bread and butter. Uh, we got Tumble or Vault Tumble to get around the map a lot faster. Again, it really does suck that we don't have uh, Strafe anymore for this build because it was super cool. But I know, everything goes away. But we do have it on the uh, Spike Bomb build that we built, guys. Make sure to check that video out. Uh, and then we have Preparation and Invigoration to have a Max Discipline. Just make it higher so we deal more damage. Uh, Wolf Companion uh, for more damage. And then, of course, Vengeance Dark Heart for damage reduction and damage increase. Into our passives, guys, we have uh, Tactical Advantage, so that way every time we vault, we're going to get around the map a lot faster. Ballistics, increase uh, damage of rockets by 100%, and then we got Call of the Weak against slowed or chilled enemies, more damage, and then Ambush for more damage. Now, when it comes to the passive, I've kind of toyed around with this, like, Ballistics is fine. You could get away with this. You could also do Thrill of the Hunt um, to kind of help proc Call of the Weak. Uh, both of these are just kind of cool. For this purposes, I'll try Thrill of the Hunt again. Um, just to kind of showcase it, but if you didn't want to really run anything like that You could do hot pursuit to move around faster, um, but you could do both of these You could even drop call of the week and run ballistics as well, but totally up to you I'm gonna run thrill of the hunt for this showcase just to show you guys, but that is gonna be the build Pretty standard uh, our legendary gems are going to be bane of the trap for damage say a son of vengeance for damage and then Bane of the Stricken, so that way every time we're hitting with multi-shot, we're going to get an increased amount of damage. I know the ring's ranked low. These two are 50s, but I think this one's 33, so it's kind of low. But we're going to go in. We've been hitting... Oh, I need a keystone. Okay, guys, we got some keys. I had to run and go do a riff real quick to get some keys. We're going to showcase on a GR90. I do want to mention that besides Dawn, I did test a lot with Echoing Fury just for the movement speed and attack speed increase. But I think having Vengeance up all the time is just much better. So let's showcase. Let's pop a G90 and uh, just see how we do. I think we've still been, still been speed farming these um, 90s at a minute and a half. So we'll see. We'll see how we do. The build plays very simple. You're just going to pop your... Um, your vengeance and your companion there and then you're gonna hit make sure you hit evasive fire every five seconds so that way you get your uh your focus and restraint guys and you can see like the build is still fairly fast it's just 
I I don't know. It's it's so weird. It's so weird to even think about. Like I I, I feel like the build just is just so different uh, than what it was. We're kind of back to how it used to be, which is really nice. But you can see with tumble, you're just kind of going across and just hitting things. You want to try to keep your distance as best you can uh, with this build. Now the build is still fairly fairly strong. But with the addition of the spike trap build being able to have all that speed and just be able to strafe around. And now, you know, the god set is going to be a little bit stronger because UE strafe isn't here. So it, it's kind of one of those things, right? Where it's, just, it's still it's still okay if you're if you really like the build, then you'll still enjoy it. But it, it just doesn't hit like it used to be. Season, I blame, you know, season 27 is just so rough. They shouldn't have gave us something that crazy. And there we go. There we go. We absolutely crush it. So again, guys, you can still do this fairly, you know, fairly easily. Let's go ahead and level up our gem here and uh, get right into it. Let's go back to town. The build is still decently strong, guys. It's not. Um, it's not as strong as I would. I would like it to be, but that's okay. We're gonna change this back to ballista. I like ballistic better. But uh, so you see here, a minute eighteen. Still crushing 90s. It's still a very solid build build uh, to be able to speed farm things, guys. Excellent for T16, all that good stuff. I really have always enjoyed multi-shot, but season 27 really hurt us, man, with that uh, being able to strafe. So, nothing's really changed, just the damage increase. The build is still solid. I don't think it's going to rank too high coming next season with some of the other builds, but it is still very, very fun. So, that's just kind of the update on that, guys. Hopefully, they changed something else. I'm not sure. Like the video if you guys did enjoy it. Uh, comment down below, guys. What do you think about the changes to the damage increase for the um, multi-shot build? And as always, stay gaming. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.